Hi, I'm Mamata. This is a part two of how you are creating your own reality. This is a very important video and uh, there are many layers to this information. So in my first video, how to how you are creating your reality, part one, I talk about how the collective consciousness and the Earth's consciousness is also playing a role in creating your reality. But in this one, I'm going to talk more about the specific level, like narrow down how you are creating your immediate environment and your experiences, so as to speak. So let's get started. So as I had covered in my first video, you are creating your entire reality within your higher self bubble. You like there is nothing outside your higher self bubble. As you can see in the diagram, your higher self la bubble is not this small. Your higher self is huge, you're right? spanning across miles and you are always at the center of your higher self and whatever physical object that you see or um, whatever that you are seeing and that you consider real are created with the help of, your col of the collective consciousness on earth, the earth's consciousness and also your higher self material. So all the physical objects are created within this bubble, as you can see, and there is nothing outside the higher self bubble. You are always at the center. You will never be able to see the end of the higher self bubble because you are at the center. So whenever you are moving forward, this bubble out, outer boundary is also moving with you and it is creating the physical objects, this entire environment for you to have an immersive experience and that is why it is so difficult for us to feel that all this is unreal or that all this is illusion because it feels real we have been implanted with certain belief systems like this illusion is real that is the reason why everything feels totally immersive like it's hard to figure out that all this is illusion Unlike what you feel that the information that you hear on your television about ha things happening on the other end of the world, they are really not happening at the other end of the world. They are happening and created within your higher self bubble, which is like a few miles. So every experience that you are listening to, hearing, which feels like coming from a faraway place is actually not coming from a faraway place. It is created within your consciousness. Everything is created because of what belief systems you contain and what theme you have chosen to live in this lifetime and the collective consciousness that you're inhabiting right now. So all these factors play together to create your present reality. So if you see this diagram, if you consider this circle as your higher self bubble, so every person has their own higher self bubble, including animals and trees and whatever, any living being. So whenever you come in contact with another human or many other humans, what is happening is their higher self bubble and your higher self bubble are experiencing a match in frequency. Basically, you are not physically moving anywhere. It's basically all the higher self bubble of all people on this planet exist right here right now but you don't experience them because there is no match in the frequency so every time there is a frequency match they manifest in your reality and both of you then are co-creating a new reality both of you are co-creating the immediate environment and whatever experience that you have together even though you are co-creating both are co-creating together you will have different interpretation and perception of the same event because both of you are two unique being and both of you may have different themes and different belief systems no two humans perception about reality is ever the same even if it is very similar it will never be the same it will always have its differences but remember, there is nothing outside your higher self bubble. It's completely void. It's empty. We are housed inside the Earth's higher self bubble. So if you see, this is Earth's higher self bubble. And this is where all the human higher self bubbles are within the Earth's higher self bubble. And then the Earth's higher self bubble is within the Sun's higher self bubble. And the Sun higher self bubble is within the solar system's higher self bubble. So in this way, in other words, basically, you are the cell in the universe's body or God's body, if you want to call the universe as God. 
it is like a microcosm and macrocosm explained. It's, you are cells in Earth's body. Earth is a cell in the sun's body. Sun is a cell in the solar system's body. The solar system is a cell in the galaxy's body. And your experiences are created completely based on the belief systems you contain. So if you have positive beliefs, you will create more positive experiences. If you have negative beliefs, you will create more negative experiences. And in, inherently, all experiences are neutral. But what meaning you give to them is totally depending on your belief system. So you are creating your own reality in your bubble. Other people are creating their own reality in their uh, higher self bubble using their belief system. And their experiences might be totally different from yours. For example, if you're leaving your family members behind and leaving home for work, they are physically moving away. So what is happening is you are basically changing your frequency and their frequency is also changing so that both of you are not being a vibrational match anymore. And that's why they are fading away from your reality. And now you're manifesting the work environment, the work reality. And this manifestation happens at the pace that you believe is possible for you. So if you believe that, oh, I can reach my workplace, which is five kilometer away from my place in one second, then that is what you are going to experience because your belief system supports that idea. What you believe is possible is totally dependent on what you believe to be true. So seeing is not believing. Believing is seeing. Your thoughts and emotions, which play an important part in creating your immediate reality, also de defines your vibration, your state of being. Whatever reality you're creating is, is being created from your present state of being, not the past, not the future. So if you want to experience a more positive future, you have to be in a positive state of being right now. Because that positive outcome is going to start from right now, whatever your present moment is. There is a reason why it is said, said that you need to be in a positive state of being always. Because your positive realities come from what, where you are right now. Your mind, which creates all these thoughts, are not just in your brain. The mind is distributed in the body. This is a concept when I came across first in the book, Neil Donald's Walsh uh, Conversation with God and my mind was blown. Then I did extensive research on it and I found that the entire mind is basically a function of the neurons and each organs have their own set of neurons, which I covered in one of my past videos on limiting beliefs. The neurons are distributed all throughout your body and so is your mind. So your conscious and unconscious mind is not just in your brain, but your body. So your emotions and your negative thoughts not only influence your brain and mood, but also other organs in the body because they are all interconnected. So your state of being when it is positive has a positive effect also on your body and vice versa. Now that you understand your state of being, how it is important and effective in creating your reality, so your beliefs create your thoughts and your emotions. How you feel at the moment, you are going to attract that kind of reality. You are going to create and manifest those kinds of positive or negative or mixed reality. The astral aura, the emotional body is housed within the mental body. And this is where your emotions are stored. This is where you feel the emotions. Whenever you are having negative thoughts and negative emotions, they affect these auras. These auras and uh, these uh, astral bodies get deformed and uh, polluted. They become dirty and it affects your mental clarity. It affects your emotional regulation, how you feel, whether you feel good most of the time, whether you feel bad most of the time. So even though these are energetic in nature, these have direct impact. And if your state of being is negative because your mental body and the astral body is contaminated with negative uh, thoughts and emotion then you are going to create negative realities within this higher self bubble so as you can see that the human body is contained within the soul and the soul is contained within the higher self 
and all your realities are being manifested within the higher self and the quality of your experience is totally dependent on your quality of thoughts and quality of emotions which again is dependent on your belief systems which is why releasing limiting belief doing shadow work doing energy healing or any kind of emotional healing emotional regulation any kind of therapy any kind of coaching especially nlp coaching like neuro linguistic programming any kind of self discovery is supremely important because these allow you to have greater control over your life because now you know that exactly what you need to change about your life to have more positive manifestations so this image is taken from grandmaster chokoksu's book psychic self defense where the aura is shown so these etheric body astral bodies mental bodies these are not separate layers they are intermixed they are interwoven as you can see in this diagram that all the uh, etheric astral mental auras are combined into one and they can look this dirty when you are having negative thoughts and negative emotions so grandmaster explains in his book that positive thoughts have different kinds of energetic vibration and a lighter color and uh, very distinct patterns and shapes for a clairvoyant they can see that they can see the quality and the texture and the color of these thoughts and emotions and negative thoughts and negative emotions have darker denser color like greed or anger and this when we have mixed kind of emotions and we are not doing any kinds of emotional regulation or any kind of emotional healing then our auras can become as dirty as this as you can see in this diagram so this is the reason why if you want to create good experiences in your life it's so important that you do the work on yourself to heal yourself emotionally where you're not experiencing negative realities where you are getting triggered by people or you are constantly low or feeling depressed or fatigued or brain fog or where you are not physically healthy all of these are interconnected your mental health emotional health has a direct impact on your physical body what you see outside is a direct reflection of who you are and who you think yourself to be so as i had explained in my previous video on limiting beliefs part 2 what limiting beliefs are limiting beliefs or any belief positive or negative are a definition of yourself so positive beliefs are positive definition of yourself negative beliefs are negative definition of yourself positive belief example could be i am a good person negative belief example could be i am not good enough so these definitions about yourself as who you are creates perceptions of who you are to yourself and whatever you believe about yourself to be true is what is going to happen in your reality because the outside reality is a reflection of who you think yourself to be the reality that is created within your higher self bubble that you see whether it's people or places is a direct reflection of what you think about yourself so this is how important it is to understand that how you treat yourself is what you are going to see outside like attracts if you don't prioritize yourself you will attract people who don't prioritize you if you don't respect yourself you will attract people who don't respect you if you don't love yourself you will attract people who don't love you if you violate your own boundaries you are going to attract people who violate your boundaries so the point is every time you experience whatever positive or negative experience in your life it is directly related to how you treat yourself because remember other people are basically reflections of you now this image as you can see there are say let's call this guy gary there are billions of versions of gary in this universe but which of the garys are you going to manifest this is based on the parallel reality concepts uh, which i was talking about earlier there are billions of parallel versions of gary each version of gary is slightly different from the other gary some of them some of the garys are compassionate some of the garys are smart some of the garys are bold some of the garys are arrogant some of the garys are asshole so there are different versions of garys in 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 the parallel universe so which one are you going to attract the one that you are going to attract is based on your vibration 
because it attracts light. So out of these billion version, the one that you're going to attract is totally dependent on who you are and how you treat yourself. So if you love yourself, you're going to attract a loving version of Gary who loves you too. If you respect and prioritize yourself, you are going to attract a version of Gary which is who's going to love and respect and prioritize you too. So your inner reality is going to directly reflect in the outer reality. This is what shadow work is all about. Your belief systems are basically your definition about yourself and who you believe yourself to be is how you are going to treat yourself. And based on that belief, you are going to have certain thoughts and emotions and those thoughts and emotions create your state of being. And that state of being manifests certain specific kind of people and specific kind of realities within your higher self bubble. So in other words, what you see outside are basically reflections of who you are, including the people you hate as well as people you love. Both are reflections of you. And this I'll cover more in details in my shadow work video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to ask your questions and queries or whatever that you feel I have not answered in this video in the comment section below.